Finally tonight, it's an idea that some swear by in the office. I'm doing it right now. But can it work in the classroom? Our Joe Fryer takes us to a school that's solving the age-old problem of getting kids to sit still and pay attention by not having them sit at all. Are you ready to write? Students at Balacito Elementary in Northern California are taking a stand. I, I really like it. Spending much of the day on their feet at new standing desks. I just focus better when I'm standing. Thumbs up if you agree. Teachers like Amanda Gray say they're seeing a big difference. I notice that I can hold their attention for longer because I feel like their brains and their bodies are active and more awake. For students, it's like a lesson in Newton's first law. It's like a body at rest stays at rest, but a body in motion stays in motion. After testing the idea in a few classrooms last year, the school dumped all of its old-fashioned desks, replacing them with taller models. Even the principal has won. If someone walks in and says, well, kids shouldn't be standing all day, what do you say to that? Um, we actually don't have them standing all day. Students can take a seat whenever they're feeling tired, and every desk has a fidget bar to keep kids moving. It releases your energy, and it's not having you hunched over, you're sitting tall. Researcher James Levine says getting kids to move more during the school day actually helps them in the classroom. Their scores are better, their attention is better, their specific skill development is better. The biggest challenge, cost. Parents at Balacito raised $110,000 for new desks with help from Juliet Starrett's organization, Stand Up Kids. Our mission is to get these desks into as many public schools as we can in the next 10 years, hopefully all of them. Standing desks are gradually popping up in classrooms and offices around the country. And I think for Christmas, people should start asking for them. A growing movement for more movement. Joe Fryer, NBC News, San Rafael, California.